I'm standing here in front of one of several orphanages in which I grew up and I'm making this video to show that anyone watching, regardless of their circumstances, can follow their passion, work hard and good will come from it. Now there are no guarantees in life, so I'm making you only this one promise. And that is, if you dedicate yourself to something you're truly passionate about and work hard, one thing is certain, and that is growth. Depending on where you are on your journey, I'm urging you to either keep going or get started. And as you watch this, please realize that you could do the same, if not more, following your passion. choose to share my passion to try and inspire people and and he wanted to send me something to show a little bit about his passion. Let's see what's inside. A dragon. <laughs> and it's in the Sand Dragon colors as well. Damn that's cool. I was feeling part of the scenery. I watch right out of the machinery. remember the exact moment when I was in the supermarket picking up groceries and I just saw the email and I've been emailed a few times from followers <laughs> but this time I just had the sense just reading the title uh, that it might have been this guy my family and I was broke completely broke all I was in school I had Mike to help me out in the techniques if I couldn't understand he would tell me to take it easy they helped me out a lot as I learned different aspects and different martial arts and their existences. Then what happens after that, I don't see him again. Unfortunately, he stops school 
I stopped the school as well at ninth class, now I move on. We couldn't afford any martial arts classes. And so I, I tried to get in get in contact with Itrats Project, uh, which is a project doing great work, uh, offering free trainings and stuff, but it never worked out. And I even tried to reach out to his school teacher, like a few years later, and eventually I, I just I just gave up. I just figured, okay, even though it felt like at the time, like I was in that place to try and help this guy, I just figured, okay, it's not gonna happen. So, I was going through YouTube, studying more martial arts, as I found out more. Then out of nowhere, I see Zen Dragon on YouTube. I'm like, okay, so you're telling me that Mike is on YouTube making martial arts videos. Let's go, let me see what I can learn. I took like three weeks to watch as many views, uh, videos as I could. And the more I watched, the more my intelligence for martial arts went from this to this. So the more I watched his videos, the more I was searching for. I watched his sparring. I did that myself, shadow boxing at home. Hands up, head low, punches, dodge. I did all that stuff. Until I was like, okay, let's talk to him. Let's see what he, what he does. So I wrote him an email and said, that's me, you know? And then uh, the signal pops up and it's all because I chose to share something online on YouTube. And I wasn't thinking about this guy when I came up with the idea of Zen Dragon, but you never know who you're gonna reach. So think I was a nut, turning water into wine, open doors would soon be shut, and so I went from day to day, all of my life was in a rut, until I thought of what I'd say. Another kind of attack just for Hey guys, Nick Drossos. This is a collaboration for Zen Dragon, Michael Phillip. He's gonna be posting a video on my YouTube channel as well. <laughs> so it doesn't matter whether you block on the inside or the outside. Right here. Again I can go straight for the throat. Who closed their eyes but still could see? No one told them medicats.
Michael, you've been very transparent and honest in answering the questions that I have for you through your own experiences. And I uh, do appreciate your transparency and vulnerability. On that note, I would like to know what are some difficulties that you faced in your life that you would like to share with us all today? Well, you know, I wasn't dealt the best deck of cards in life. I think my parents did a great job with the, like, the cards they were dealt themselves. But I came from a home with drug addiction and mental, mental illness and stuff. And I also spent some years in orphanages. So I've had some difficulties I've had to overcome. But I think it's been my experience that it's important to just keep going and to keep trying to better your situation. And when you can't better your situation, because that's not always possible in that exact moment where you're at, then try to focus on the positive and realize everything you got instead of everything you haven't got. There's always a yin and a yang to everything. So I think that's very much key and if someone's watching and they feel like the situation is hopeless, I think the important thing is just to not give up. I think if you keep trying to better your situation, then eventually the the tides will turn and there's no telling when, telling when that will happen but if you give up it won't.